Hello everybody in Eco Gaming here, and welcome to the first episode of Pokemon Yellow. I actually have a decent history of this game. Uh, it's not only the first game I ever played, it's also the first game I can actually remember. It's the first thing I can remember as a child. I would have. It came out around the same time as me, so. Yeah, some of my earliest memories of playing this. Alright, let's just, uh... Mono is probably best. <laughs> anyway, I was just curious about that. So that should be good. And, uh, let's just jump on in. New game. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. You can call me Pokemon. Have by creatures called Pokemon. Some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Uh, I'm gonna go with Red for this, uh, for this file. So we're calling ourselves Red. <laughs> Our name is Red. And this is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Uh, what is his name again? Let's go with Blue. I just like going with the defaults, I think, at least for this game. I don't know. When I get, eventually get to other Pokemon games, I might start putting in my name is Kurt. But for now. <sighs> I've. I've beaten this game sped up on emulators and stuff before, but never just a regular playthrough I've beaten. So, this will be fun. That was close. Well, I'm gonna live in tall grass. Oh shit. I don't know why that's so quiet. <laughs> Maybe I'll try using one of the earphone options. I don't know, I'll do that between episodes. Woo! Pokemon can appear any time in Tomgrass. Use your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Yeah, come with me. Cramps, I'm fed up waiting. Hmm, Blue? Why are you here already? Said for you to come by later. Ah, whatever. Just wait there. Look, Red, you see that ball on the table? It's called a Pokeball. It holds Pokemon inside. Do I have it? Go on, take it. Hey, Cramps, what about me? Mission Blue, I'll give you one later. No way, Red, I want this Pokemon. Blue, snatch the Pokemon! Blue, what are you doing? Perhaps I want this one. Alright oh, oh, right, then. Pokemon is yours. It's going to give you one anyway. Red, come over here. And this is the Pokemon I caught up there. You can have it. I caught it in the wild and it's not tame yet. Hell yeah, we got a Pikachu. I will give it a nickname. Uh, so the nickname I always gave it as a child was Sparky. And so I'm going to do that, but obviously based on the uh, I forget their name, but a character in the anime that had a Pikachu named Sparky. So yeah. We're gonna go with Sparky for this playthrough as well. And just like that, we got our first Pokemon. Hey Red, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. And here we go, our first Pokemon battle. I just have a big sip. Blue wants to fight. Blue sent an Eevee. On the shark. Yeah, don't worry, the, the Pikachu being strangely quiet, I'll fix in between episodes. Anyway, on the shark. Wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> Are we gonna lose? 
lose? No, because he used it's a dumb move. Thank god. <laughs> So, an interesting thing, that if we did lose, that would have made things interesting. Basically, uh, if you're not aware, there is a battle we can do that's optional later on for Blue. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen that up. Ramp smell you later. So, yeah, we can actually... Oh, did you look at that? I thought about it, because your big dude dislikes Pokeballs. You should just keep it with you. I should make it happy. You talk to it and see how it feels about you. Still quiet. Uh, yeah, I'll fix that though. It is nice to know that I can just check it. And that'll fix Anyway, what I was saying about Eevee, um, in the rival battle. So basically, there's two bot battles before the first skim. And if you were to... And depending on how you win or lose in those two fights, why should you determine what he evolves his Eevee into? So, if you lose both fights, you'll evolve into Vaporeon, a water type, which is weak to our uh, Pikachu. If you win one and lose the other, or skip the optional fight, uh, you'll evolve into Flareon, which, you know, is neutral against us. It's neutral for us to hit with Pikachu. But then, if you win both, he evolves into Jolteon, which is obviously not electric, isn't very good against. So, it's kind of in a weird way a sort of difficulty that you can affect. I think it also affects the rest of this team. Like if he has a water type, he won't grab any others. Ah, geez, I'm to it again. Yeah, that's kind of fascinating to me that this is one of the only games that has any sort of semblance of like uh, difficulty. In the sense of, you could intentionally lose both fights if you wanted to make the rival easier, but again, easier at the end. And you can kind of just affect the rival's whole team as a result. Alright, let's go to Mark. Hey, you came from Battle Town? No, it's over, right? It's only came in. We take it to him. And we got Oak's Puzzle. Now press Oak for me. Alright, let's keep going. We'll head back down. Next way of getting down is much easier. Next to all these little ledges we can hop down. Oh, the one patch of grass I accidentally walk into. Pidgey's not too bad. Well, I am glad this game, uh, this game does fix up a lot of the sprites and makes them a little less, uh, ugly <laughs> compared to the original. I do kind of miss the original designs. Matchup especially is one of my favorites. Like, he just looks so goofy in the original red and blue. I would have done red and blue, but I wanted to do yellow because of, like I mentioned at the start, my, like, connection to it, I guess. The fact that I, you know, this is this game is one of my earliest memories just as a whole, as well as being one of the first games I've played, and the reason Pokemon has a very special place in my heart. It's like you want, it's counted as a Pokemon trainer. Well, yeah, something for me. Do you like Castle? So yeah, maybe in the future. Well, in the future I'll probably do the remakes, which means that I'll, you'll still get the same playthrough. Uh, properly. Cramps. <laughs> Cramps, my Pokemon is growing stronger. Check it out. How blue is the time? No time for me to do something for me. On, this, on the desk there is my invention, Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or call it. It's a high tech encyclopedia. Red and blue. Take these with you. Make a complete guide on all of the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't do it. So I want you two to fill my dream for me. Keep moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps, it was all to me. Red, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know I'll borrow a time map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Red. Ha ha ha. Alright, how's you 
you're doing it. Nonplussed. Another interesting thing is that they actually use the happiness, like, the happiness that is known in the games today, like, that's what they use for this Pikachu, but exclusively this Pikachu. So, like, this is the first implementation of friendship in a Pokemon game, which is kind of just fascinating that they went through this whole system just for this one partner. Like, I don't know, that's just fascinating to me. There's a Rattata. Alright, we'll end the episode in a couple minutes. Uh, I'm just gonna get a partner. Our first partner, a temporary one though. And then we'll end the episode there, I think. Oof. Yeah, so I've already got my team kind of planned out in my head already. So, yeah, the, this game being kind of held together by string, as a lot of people like to say, uh, I'm unfortunately going to be mainly going for like really strong Pokemon. If you played this game before, you probably have an idea of what I mean by that. So, unfortunately, my team's not going to be super original or anything for this playthrough. But at the same time, trying to use anything else would just result in a headache, really, because there isn't really a lot of options with this game. I mean, there is, but like not using the strongest Pokemon in this game involves grinding for, I don't know, 10 levels or something just to get them on par with the other stuff. And to be honest, I enjoy just having an easy playthrough. Well, I need to actually buy Pokeballs again. Ugh, I'm so used to the remakes giving you them. <laughs> well, I do love this game. I've definitely played more of the remakes. And uh, when I do get to playing the remakes eventually, I'll for sure try and go for more interesting teams. Rather than just what's the strongest. I don't know. The way I play Pokemon is I always like to have a relatively easy time by going for a strong Pokemon. But I also don't like to just go for the strongest every time. Like, uh, you know, I don't always like going for, like, I like to really at least have one unconventional Pokemon in my team at every time. Like, if my team's the same every time, it's just boring. So yeah, we're just going to be wandering around the grass for a little bit until we can find what I'm looking for. It could work, I guess, but... Nah. Yeah, I'm looking for something in particular. I'll let you know once we see it. Yeah, if you played this before, or you know, know what's in here, you probably have an idea of what I'm going for, but... Not aside. Oh, level 7. That's good. I'm making sure that I actually, you know, beat these things in order to get the extra experience. I'm sure that by the end of the game, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> well, you totally can, with the right team, beat the like end game elite four with uh, your Pokemon being like ten levels lower. I've done it in Pokemon Red. Like it's doable, but. Yeah, I would rather not have to, if I can avoid that. Alright, let's fight. I could get away, but the thing is that once we do find it, it'll be the end of the episode pretty much. So I don't mind this going on for a little bit longer. Uh, I don't think there's anything else really worth mentioning, like this isn't any sort of challenge run. I would love to do a Nuzlocke at some point in the future, but I think I'd rather play through the games like regularly first before 
go into Nuzlocke and other crazy challenges. Hmm. Alright, got another thing that isn't. Uh, if we get to level 8, then I'll probably just cut to when I find the Pokemon I'm looking for. Oh, I will be trying to get the uh, legendary Pokemon in this playthrough, but I will not be using them because that feels very broken. Like I said, I like to go for the stronger Pokemon, but at that point it's just like cheating to use the legendaries. I don't know, I've never really used the legendary on my team before, and I don't really plan to. I would need a ramp team mail. There we go. Nope. Still don't know what I'm looking for. Alright, I'm just gonna cut to one, because otherwise at this point, wait, come on, Darius, just, is this it? No, yeah, that's it. So, I'll be right back. Okay, and here we are. Mankey! Also, as you can tell, Sparky leveled up and learned Thunder Wave. I want to use the Mankey to get past the first gym, and that's about it. Cool. Alright, that'll make catching quite easy. Uh... Yeah. There we go. Alright, thank you, let's go. Thank you, Pig Monkey. I drop Pokemon that lives in trees. I think it's easily will not hesitate to attack anything. Your nickname? Uh, sure. Uh. I don't know Nick. I like to give Mankey's the nickname of Ryu. Or Chun Li if it's a lady. I don't know, it's just always fun for me. So, we're gonna end the episode. Oh, wait, we'll do one more thing. Just to get it out of the way, uh, for the next episode. I have a copy now and I feel great. I'm sure you can go through. Sorry, I was rude to you. So, using the Pokédex, I'll show you how to catch Pokémon, that's my apology. So, yeah, we'll just get past this tutorial for this episode. So, yeah, uh, that'll just about do it for this episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. Next time, we're gonna head on up and start going through Brigand Forest. So, and then what? Must be losing my touch. Run out of Pokeballs too. Have to get some of that Pokemon part. Okay, sir. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye!